YouTube, welcome. This is Puck. Today we're gonna install uh, Debian Linux onto a USB input um, computer, meaning that this thing has no CD-ROM drive, it has only a USB input and we will have to use the USB to, um, to install the operating system. We're gonna install Debian and uh, to do that we're also gonna use a program called PowerISO. Normally we create um, Linux distributions, uh, bootable USB Linux distributions. Normally we do that with, uh, with UNet booting, but I did that yesterday and it was not working for, um, for Debian. So we're gonna start up PowerISO and run it as an administrator. And up here we say yes. When you open Power ISO, make sure that you get version. Um, what is this version about Power ISO? Get version 4.9, please. Get version 4.9 because version 5 it has spyware. Don't don't get that one, please. You will be annoyed. It will take over your computer and do nonsense with your browser. Okay, here we're gonna select create bootable USB drive. The one from 16 gigabytes is already inside. Make sure that you select the right one. Eh? because I have two drives in here one is my video drive the one that I'm creating a video with here that's a video about Debian running on my tablet and um, we will have to se select the US or the ISO file that we just downloaded and here it is uh, here you can see Debian and this is with the KDA net uh, desktop we, have, we install the net installation on our tablet, but I don't like the uh, GNOME desktop. It's a little bit too much for me. I want it a little bit simple. I want KDA. I think that's a very powerful, powerful desktop. And uh, we will also um, create a LXDE USB stick, but we're gonna do that later. So when you selected it, uh, this only thing you have to do is hit start, and then you know the drive will be created and when it's done set your uh, device that you're gonna install it to set it to boot from the USB stick and then you know everything will be set for you to install the operating system and enjoy it uh, some minutes uh, after doing this so anyway thank you for watching I hope you now know how to fix or how to uh, create a bootable Debian um, USB stick thank you for watching until my next video bye bye